Welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 here in Cairo, Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today with Mr. Gamal Khalifa, who is the head of the microfinance units for the Financial Regulatory Authority of Egypt. Mr. Khalifa, welcome to the studio. Hello, Max. Thank you very much. I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, digital financial services. And I wanted to ask you, from your perspective, what do you think it will take for the world's poorest people to prefer digital financial services over cash? And will digital financial services be enough for this to happen? Uh, definitely, they haven't had a chance to use the financial services before. So as soon as they uh, use such services and realize the benefit that they can get, the facility and the, the the, the, the ease and the security of using the service, definitely it will change their mind and it will change their attitude. What can we do to encourage it? Are the, 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 uh, is the technology going to be enough? Is trust going to be enough? What do you think? Uh, I, I believe, as I mentioned, by, by realizing how easy and it is secure, uh, people will change their mind about using cash. I mean, uh, like, like having uh, an account uh, before and using your credit card, we used to be very afraid of leaving our credit card numbers uh, floating around. But now when we see that things are secure and, and nothing has happened, so we, we, we learn that this is the way things are, are moving towards. And in terms of innovation, what, what innovations do you think are required in regulatory collaboration to create an enabling environment for digital financial services? Uh, basically, uh, innovation by including most of the service under, under the, the same technology. Uh, like, uh, I don't like to pay part of it uh, technologically easy and the other part uh, will use cash. So in, uh, getting all the services together and making sure that we don't leave things out this will facilitate things instead of multipli uh, multiplying our tasks. How do you see the fintech sector reshaping digital financial services? Definitely, this is it. I mean, uh, without it, uh, things will, uh, will always remain slow and will not catch up with, uh, with, the, with the, the current movement. I mean, uh, we don't like to be left uh, behind. Uh, nobody is. And at a national level, what role do you think governments can play to enhance the usage of digital financial services? By basically, uh, by basically enhancing the service, uh, making sure that it is uh, unified, it is clear, uh, consumer protection is very important, uh, every, every element should be included in any regulation and uh, making sure that uh, we are dealing with many types of people. Uh, some of them have no, uh, uh, the awareness level are very different in this case. So we need to really make sure that everybody is included. We, we, do not, uh, we do not work with one group and leave the others. So awareness is, is definitely the best part we can have. Uh, uh, we make sure that it is available. And here, closer to home, what is, the, what is uh, um, Egypt and, and the, the, the region like in terms of digital financial services? Uh, Egypt uh, is uh, part of it now. It is uh, becoming, uh, in our work even uh, with microfinance, uh, for the last four years, uh, microfinance has been a formal uh, and regulated business. For the first two years, we are working on regulation. Now, for the last two years, we are working on, on uh, introducing new products introducing the services like payment services that would allow and facilitate for customers to use the service and to reach uh, the potential of microfinance. And uh, we see it coming, we see it really coming. People are, are afraid of using a new service, but as soon as they start and see how things are easy and it will facilitate their lives and make it easier, definitely they will, they will, they will never get back to using cash again. Are you taking the time to be to, uh, at this event? I wanted to ask you, why is uh, this event important to you, do you think? It's really highlighting the importance of uh, technology in payment systems and the use of technology. It is definitely uh, a sign of commitment uh, that is uh, required by everybody. All the, all the stakeholders are there and they are part of uh, their, uh, their commitment. Uh, I believe uh, this is... Uh, uh, an annual or becoming, uh, I would say, an event that keeps rolling and taking uh, all the stakeholders together and putting them all together in one program and one strategy that is really making, it, uh, making things happen. 
Well, thank you very much for making this happen today, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again, perhaps uh, at the next incarnation of this event. With pleasure, Max. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Sir.